welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I'd like to thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. I am down in my basement working on a project. Our family room down here is the hub for the kids, my office, where we keep all our games, all our movies, all of my party supplies and, and like gift bags and cards and streamers. It's like the hub. It really is. So it is a place with many functions and it has gotten a little out of hand lately, let's just say. Oh, gross. So I am trying to de-junk, that's right. I want to put things away in their homes, but I need to clear out their homes. I have too much stuff. So I have gone through some of these buckets and bins and things before but i'm going in with a fresh pair of eyes and i am getting rid of stuff i am hoping to donate boxes to the di which is like a goodwill so to help me go through all of this craziness i'm going to be listening to an audiobook yes you guys know that i love listening to books um i it just helps me so much i can dive into you know what I am doing while listening I love it and of course you guys know I love audible we have been using audible for years Derek uses it for work I use it while in my home getting things done unwinding it is the best way for me to be able to get a book in so if you didn't know audible has the largest selection of audiobooks anywhere truth and they've created Audible Originals for their members. They really have an unmatched selection of audiobooks, ranging from fiction, history, sci-fi, romance, kid selection, um, self-help. I love the variety. So for you, my friends, Audible is offering a free audiobook plus two Audible Originals with a 30-day trial. Just visit audible.com slash apron, or you can text apron to 500-500. Again, that's audible.com slash apron or just text apron to 500, 500 I really delve into the self-help section. It just helps me be a better me. I just love how encouraging Audible is to be the best you. So to dive into this project right now, I am listening to a book by Gretchen Rubin and it's Outer Order, Inner Calm. Declutter and organize to make more room for happiness. And this is a goal of mine right now, so I am going to give that a listen while I work on this project. Ooh, okay, you guys, are you ready to dive in with me? All right, now this is phase one of this project, so there'll be many more phases. So come join me, keep me company, aprons on, let's go. So this is where I keep all the craft supplies, also school supplies, paper, pens, batteries, you name it, it's here. So in order for me to put stuff away as I clean and declutter, I need to clean their homes first. So we're going to go through these buckets and declutter. Okay, I went through these three buckets, got the birthday stuff organized, um, and all the birthday signs are now in um, a Ziploc bag, tissue paper, crafts, went through all that, went through the ribbon, I have some folders that I'm giving away, tons of craft stuff, some craft stitching things, ribbon. I'm planning to fill this box. It's getting fuller. Now I'm going through my two card baskets. I haven't touched these cards in forever, so I'm going through them. We'll donate some, keep some. I think the happy birthday ones I'll keep in the happy birthday bin. That way I know I have them, they're there, they're quick. And yeah, so I'm going to clear bins full of cards. I think most of these cards were like from a box that I got somewhere that had like a whole bunch of different cards like this. I think that's where this like started from. So I'm going to go through this. Okay, I put all the birthday cards that I am keeping in this Ziploc bag right here in this bin. This um, Ziploc bag here has some Mother's Day, Father's Day, and that will actually take care of this year. And then for everybody, so these, this will go down. I have a few baby shower like congratulation cards. So that will go smaller by the end of the year and the cards and so here are all the cards I'm giving away. There's thank you cards, birthday cards, blank cards. There's a ton. So someone is going to love that at the DI. So that's going in the box. 
Okay, I got rid of a ton of gift bags. So, we like to recycle our gift bags, but I don't need like a ton. So I went through and I donated quite a bit. So this is not stuffed to the rim anymore. That's awesome, I could shut it. Woohoo! All right, this is gonna be hard for me. These are all my cellophane bags. Oh, this might be hard. Or I might just keep everything. I don't know, I don't know. Let's. I'm gonna look through it. Oh, well, this is hard for me. I did it. I did it. I kept some big bags and some bags that I would use, clear bags. So, this drawer can shut now. Oh my gosh. So, I got rid of these hourglass looking ones. These ones, big bag of these. Big bag of G.I. Joe. These little, I don't know what that is, but, mm-hmm, sacks. And then this one is, it's got some green and brown dots on it. So yeah, I am making good progress. Look at all these bags. Woohoo! it's exciting. All right, I've been going through the games and I was able to donate quite a few, but then we have these two bins that are just all the little small games and cards, so I'm going to go through here, see if I can't get rid of some stuff and organize it. Check it out! It all fits in this one. This is empty, and then I'm going to put all of these extras in um, a bag and keep it in here. Oh my gosh, we're doing good. Oh boy, look at that. So much better. <laughs> so, we went through our movies not too long ago. And we do stream a lot, but we also still watch some of these, especially in the car. So, we're going to hold off on going through these movies again, but I think at some point we're going to have to. We aren't buying any more new movies, so that's good. Just because I think we've reached a land of, you know, digital and streaming. So, but in the meantime, we'll just keep those there. I went through the games, donated a lot of them, went through the pieces, so everything is here. Went through all these drawers, donated a ton of craft stuff. Yes. Oh, it feels so good. Look at how big this box is. This is a big Walmart box. Look at that. So, I have that to donate. Um, I have these trash bags here and one here. So now as I go through some of the stuff that has been brought over here, anything that needs to go in that closet could go in its home. Yay! So let's move on to this. Okay, so when I came home from my trip, I was looking for all my stuff that was upstairs and Derek just what? put everything. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. Yeah, I, was, I need so, a warning, Mom. <laughs> I thought you were talking to me and I was like... <laughs> so Derek just put everything in this bag that was on the counter, on the buffet table, just around upstairs that I was going through in this bag. So I am going to go through this bag, create piles, and bring them to their home. Yep, this is going to be a mess. All right, this is garbage. These things are going into that closet. This bag has um, to-dos for Derek and I, like bills and stuff, and like file. So that goes to my desk. This whole thing is empty. I have things that need to go upstairs and put away. This is upstairs in the homework file, and these are to be filed and things. So I got my piles, and now I'm gonna bring everything into their home and that bag to declutter is done. Hello friends! Okay, it is day two of decluttering and organizing the basement. It's going really well. Alright, um, I don't have as much energy as I did yesterday, so I'm really going to have to push myself today. Um, I'm just tired. I didn't sleep well at all last night. Alright, I made huge progress as you guys saw here. So my box is overflowed so I have another box that I need to go through and I will use that as my donate bin so I am not sure what got thrown into this box I'm not sure at all I don't know what's going on here 
So we are, this is what I'm working on today. <laughs> because there are things, there are little things that need to go into that closet. And so in order for that to happen, I had to do that closet first, right? I'm going to put on my Audible book. And I'm going to hit this and uh, just fade away into the work. I'm not going to think too hard. I'm just going to get it done. And so, all right, let's go through this box so I could use it as a donate bin. All right, I know I'm not the only one guilty of this. When you're cleaning an area of your home and you throw things in a container and you're like, I'll find where its home is later. And this is what's happened to me here in this area of the home. And I have all these bins that I've been finding that have random stuff in it for it to go in its home. Oh, I think this is the most frustrating part about decluttering. And why everything in your home needs a home. Why everything in your home needs a home. And you're able to get to it. So now I have to go through and either do junk or find its home. Like for everything. Oh well, I created this mess and I will take care of it. So that's what I'm working on right now. Well guys, I conquered a lot. I am very proud of the progress I made. All the bags and boxes that went to the DI, so exciting. So like I said, this is phase one and I'm working on phase two and it just feels so good. It really feels good to make something that was in chaos into order that just calms me and maybe it calms you tell me down below if it does so yes I am enjoying listening to Gretchen's book it's really like hitting home with me so maybe give that a gander again check out down in the description box below for audible to get your trial and all those awesome books they're amazing so all right guys thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon bye